Greetings, my name is Roland and welcome to IEM Katowice. Okay guys, so I'm here with Nimsh. Nimsh, can you please introduce yourself? Hi guys, my name is Nimsh and I'm a professional horse and caster. I'm doing a lot of YouTube content, sometimes streaming on Twitch, and basically I'm all over the place with regards to horse. Well, what are you doing here at Katowice? Well, I'm casting a horse in tournaments. Uh, we have eight players who qualify to play at IEM. It's the third edition overall, ESL uh, horse and uh, legendary series. The name is quite long, but it's a quite, quite fun tournament, so definitely try and watch it. And uh, probably the last question, can you talk a little bit about Wild and Standard modes and what, do you, what are your opinions are about it? Wild and Standard formats, I, I really like them because they will bring something fresh to Hearthstone. They will solve some, some of the problems that Hearthstone has. Like right now there's a lot of new cards that get released and you just look at those cards and you say, nah, this card will never be playable. But with Standard, the cards will be playable because the card pool will be uh, well smaller so that the builders will have more opportunities. It's, it might sound weird because you have less cards to play with, but then you have cards which are more relevant. So I really like Standard overall. And Wild, well, if you still want to play like crazy games with Dr. Boom, Shredder, you can definitely go back to Wild and play it as well. I'm sure that Wild will be also interesting to play and watch. Yes, so thank you very much for the interview, Ignish. It was a pleasure. opportunity for everyone and every every player that has not made his name for himself yet um, is looking for an opportunity like those players have today. And Sh whoa! Wow. It, I, I said it's standard, right? <laughs> yeah. Standard out, Pogchamp. Wow, that is a chill wind yeti. The point I want to make is, sure, I all the Drade of the Cloth uh, draw here is a formality. He would have had the lethal with Lick Greens anyway. Ooh. I can prefer it. Well, wait, that's now locked down. It so is, yeah. That's, that's, that's the, the only Raging Worgen win we will see until at least the next round. Forgotten Torch. So there's the, the Forgotten addition. Torch. And From Open Qualifiers, so we have Else Counter and Lucky Shadow. What hell? So this Whirlwind is going to devastate Else Counter's board. And Lucky Shadow yeah. is going to be in a dominating position going forward. Al Skater, after a long game, which he, I felt he was in control for most of it, uh, takes the win. Wow, oh, 32 damage. Dim. Ouch. Dim. Now this sack should be gone. And Al Skater is going through to the semi-finals. Very strong performance here from him, using those very board-centric decks. But it looks like AK Wonder and Donkey are getting ready for their match. No way for AK Wonder to clear the entire board, and Donkey takes the first game. Donkey somehow made it. The series yeah. maybe we'll see the semifinal. Finally, after all those years, he finds the win with the Zuda. That's his uh, best deck. AK Wonder is taking this game and tying the like the match. And you know, this was the bad matchup. Yeah. This was such an important game to win for AK Wonder. I mean, this was the unfavorite matchup, and now he's going into this. Uh, with a Paladin deck, like, he's got to feel good about his chances now. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I can wonder making a crazy comeback. He went from 0-2 to 2-2. Uh, two, two. Getting to see our Paladin Shredder, but he chose, yeah, he chose to concede it. I can wonder! Takes the series! Is it going to be Esponito or is it going to be Impact? Yeah, we're going to have one player go through to the semi-finals and uh, Impact picked it perfectly. Yeah, you saw there, like that, about the worst thing that could have happened, happened. He got his Tyrion silenced and there was an Innovate 7 drop as well. And the result was fine, like he's still in a really comfortable position. So I guess from his perspective, he's just uh, oh. valuing the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See him just shaking over the Tyrion, like, please. <laughs> please get buffed, but. Oh, oh, oh my Sayer. god! Oh my god! From downtown, the Doomsayer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where are these zero mana cards that will save me? Okay, I think this is just going to be GG. Crackle's not going to get the job done. He's the sergeant, no. And yeah, impact. Oh, Throws man. it out, 0-3. Obviously not happy. We have the matchup between uh, Silvername and El Scooter. Both very impressive in their opening round. Yeah, that's actually exactly correct. That's exactly <laughs> Wow. That's, that's game over, really, right? Yeah. If he just trades off here and plays Lothab, that is essentially lethal. That's no bother, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So with Exact Lethal, Surname is the first finalist. Yeah. 
at the PSL Legendary Series tournament. We have two Spanish players battling against each other this time. Yeah. Uh, and the last game will be between the second semi. Uh, uh, sorry, the second final is of the tournament. Like I wonder, doing the fist pumps, he knows he earned himself a final spot. Two, um, two players are remaining in the tournament, and they will be battling for this. I'm sure that the players are already, already eager to battle against each other. So shake hands, please, and just let's go on with it. Especially with the owl. Wow, the BML. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> because it's, a, it's the owl is also uh, Silver Name's mascot. Yeah, that's very so, true. Yeah. Using his slightly slower versions of all the decks his first major. Yeah, after so many top eights, Ike Wonder on the back of the Force of Nature, Savage Roar, and Minion Attacks, he's taking his first title and becomes the ESL Legendary Series Champion. This is yours. Congratulations, man. After a long day, we have a winner of ESL Legendary Series at IEM Katowice 2016. Esteban, this is your first major win. What do you have to say? Yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't imagine when I, when I started playing a qualifier, a qualifier with a thousand people yeah. that I could be here today. Uh, it's my, yeah, thank you. It's, it's my, it's my first major, and I was looking for it so like so hard, you know. Like yeah, I'm know. playing everything, and I'm trying. For me, this is uh, like a dream. So thank you, thank you. Awesome to see that a persistent player finally has his trophy. Because as I said before, I think this is something more important for you than than just the trophy, right? It's not about the money; it's about having the title, right? It's about my feelings. It's about I'm trying to, to do something in my life and I push so hard and I get it. And that's uh, m maybe the best feeling that you can have in your life. Okay. Again, huge congratulations to Esteban aka Wonder for winning IEM Katowice 2016. And now we'll go back to the desk. Take it away, Marcin. And uh, I think that's it for uh, IEM Katowice Hearthstone 2016. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.